Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Majora's Mask, and we still have a few loose ends to tie up. Let's see. Post office. Okay, this is the final day. I went ahead and did the Cafe and Anju quest all the way up to the very final point. And if we come in here, we see this guy being incredibly emo. Speak to him. Oh, I want to flee, but, but it's not written on the schedule. To, to me, the delivery schedule, it's the highest priority. So we need to cheer him up somehow. And just so happen, I have this high priority letter. This is a priority mail seal. This is the highest of priorities. I shall deliver it. So he goes, gets his hat and bag, and is out the door. Or will be out the door in a few minutes. There he goes. Now we're going to follow him to his destination. But yeah, we are almost about ready to finish this game up. I can hardly believe it. We still have to get a few more things first, do a few more side quests. But other than that, we're pretty much right at the end. I'm excited. Let's see. Okay, sure, take your sweet time. This guy is a workaholic, I swear. He's working on the very final hours of the world. Okay, let's keep following him. Yeah. I have a delivery for you, postmistress. No, oh my, it can't be. You're still here? T -t Tomorrow's delivery is still scheduled. What are you saying? Did you see the sky? It's terrible. But, but... Oh my, well, what shall we do? It's from Cafe. Yeah. It's priority mail. I'm so happy to think something good would come in the end. Thank you, you flee now. That's in order. Understood. So, it's a happy ending for him, kind of, if he can get out of the town fast enough. So let's follow him outside. He slammed the door in my face, how rude. He's gonna walk right up. Is he walking outside? Oh no, he's stopping right there. Talk to him. I've decided to flee. It's an order from the postmaster. I am now free! I can set my own schedule. I don't need this anymore, so here, I'll let you have it. Dun dun dun! We got the postman's hat! This is uh, actually the way we get... Oh, he is skipping off like he is uber happy. Anyway, let's go ahead and put that postman's hat on. Here we go. Let's put this on and walk up here. This is actually the way we get another heart piece. We just walk up to any old post box. You are doing a great job. Ka-ching! Some item other than a letter has been deposited. Ka-ching! There we go. This is only good once, so don't even try to reset the time and be like, Oh, I can get more more than one heart piece. No, it doesn't work like that. Anyway, now that we have that over with, I am going to reset the time and go back to the first day. So I'll be back in just a second. Okay, we are back in West Clocktown again, and this time we are going to run to the bank. Okay, now I, I had to do a lot of stuff for this, so just watch. What's this? Need something? We are going to deposit... Okay, look, I have 400, 999 rupees, and I am going to add one more. Just one rupee. That's it. That ain't nothing at all, big spender. We officially have 5,000 rupees. What's this? You've already saved up, saved up 5,000 rupees? Well, little guy, I can't take any more deposits. Sorry, but this is all I can give you. We finally got... That stupid piece of heart. I, I, I don't even want to discuss this one. This one was like grinding on an MMORPG, I swear. But basically what I did to gain all that money is run back and forth between the blue bubbles. You know, the skulls that pop up at night in the field. Um, it's, the one that, it's the ones that curse you. There's like two or three right outside of East Clocktown. Like right out that gate right there. 
And if you run back and forth between them, shooting them with light arrows, you get 50, item, um, 50 items, 50 rupees per shot. So that is a really good, a really good way to make money. Anyway, that aside, we are going to head in here. This lady is looking at us funny. Let's talk to her real quick. Welcome. Do you have some business? The room to the left is the mayor's room. It sounds like they're having some sort of meeting. I think the room on your right is the drawing room. Is a drawing room, and it's also Madame Aroma's office. Okay, she she creeps me out. Uh, that's a, like pedal lady. I'm running away. Anyway, here we have. If we speak to the mayor, most of the townsfolk have already taken shelter without waiting for the mayor's orders. The only ones left are public servants and committee committee members. Mr. Mayor and the Carnival Committee members, please order those who, are re who remain to evacuate. Uh, I can't say committee for some reason. Ah, uh, hmm, well. You cowards. Do you actually believe the moon will fall? The confused townfolk simply caused a panic by believing this ridiculous, groundless theory. Oh yeah, the, the moon being like ten times its original size isn't hint enough. Isn't that right, Mr. Mayor? Uh, hmm, well... Huh? Are you serious, Mr. Muto? Mr. Muto... It seems that giant chunk of rock above us hasn't caught your eye. At this time every year, we are overrun by tourists, so why is the town empty? Clearly, clearly it's your job to ensure the carnival's operation, but that's if people are here for it. Okay, yeah, they're just talking too much now. Look at that decisive mayor. He has so much help, really. Let's not bring my wife into this. He was added to our notebook. Okay, so what we want to do for this is pop on the couple's mask. Yes, this weird, really weird mask. Ah! 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 The couple's mask. What a nice reminder. So, a young couple has been married. I wonder, did my wife flee? What? What did you just say? Yes, yes, everyone. We are all worried for our families. Why don't we end this meeting? But, Mr. Mayor, this will do. Whether you're stubborn and will stay and guard your family, or if you prefer to run far away and seek shelter, that is for people to, to decide on their own. As if that shouldn't have been obvious enough. Thank you for allowing me to put all that pointless... Put an end to all that pointless bickering. Adults are all so stubborn. It is shameful. Here's a token of my gratitude. Yes! Get one more piece of heart. Well, I may be an I, I may be an unreliable mayor, but at least my family can depend on me. I want to protect my wife. Why does he have that job if he's an unreliable mayor? He said so himself. That is that, that I, I don't understand that, no. I don't. Oh well, whatever floats this town's boat, I guess. Anyway, buddyhood! Moving on, there's something else that we need to do. Let's go in here. Run, run, run. I think it's this room. Oh no, it's not that room. Which room is it? Some, I think it's this one, right? Yep, bingo! Okay, this is Anju's grandmother. She looks like... Whoa, that is creepy. Okay, okay, backing away. This is Anju's grandmother. Let's see what they're talking about. Oh, Tortoise, I've already had lunch. Grandmother, I am Anju. Tortoise was my dad. And you haven't had lunch yet. I've already had lunch. Now be quick and take that away. Not eating is bad for you. Please eat. Didn't I just say that I already ate lunch, Tortoise? Impossible, child. Then don't eat my food. I give up. Will. Will? Er, Will, would you like me to read you a story? She just does not like her cooking, right? Right. So now that we know who her grandmother is, normally, if you listen to her stories that she just mentioned, you would fall asleep. But luckily, we have 
Dun dun dun! The All Night Mask! So let's go ahead and talk to her. Oh, oh Tortoise, did you help? Did you finish helping Father? Then let Mother read you a story. Now, which story would you like to hear?